It's Pelé today and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this tutorial. This is the x-ray effect I'm going to be creating today. I think it looks really, really cool and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. If you guys don't know, I have a website called editingvisuals.com where I have a pretty good editing pack that's going to help you out with your editing. So if you guys are interested in leveling up your editing, be sure to check out my website. Now let's get into the tutorial. So, here I'm in Artifex, I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing this x-ray effect on which, yeah, looks super cool in my opinion and I'm going to be creating a adjustment layer here so I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y and the first effect I'm going to be adding here is called Invert and it's going to create this and this already looks kinda like a x-ray effect but we will have to uh, tweak uh, uh, a bunch of settings here to make the yeah, perfect look. We're going to start off by uh, just using the normal invert settings here. We're not going to change anything here. After that, I'm going to be adding hue and saturation. Here I'm going to drag the master saturation to minus 100. We're going to get this effect here. After that, we're going to be adding curves. Then we're going to drag down the brightness to something like this. And now to get that grainy look, I'm going to be adding a noise. I'm going to set the amount of noise to 75%. And I'm going to be using the uh, color noise for this as well. To use that extra color when now it's going to you know, be popping a lot more when everything else is black and white. After that, add mosaic. Here I'm going to set the horizontal and vertical blocks to 500. And this is basically going to drag down the quality of the footage here, which I think is also pretty fitting to this effect. After that, add fast box blur, blur radius to 1, and then unsharp mask. I'm gonna increase the amount to 200, and then the radius to 3. And this is going to give you that grungy x ray kind of effect here. I think it looks absolutely amazing, in my opinion. Completely uh, plug in free and a really really cool uh, yeah, x-ray look here. Now if you like these kind of effects I've actually made a grunge preset pack which I'm going to be showcasing some effects from now. User presets, grunge presets, have some bonus one. I can show the night vision grunge for example. It's going to look something like this, very dark and grungy. You guys can add a adjustment layer and then add curves to adjust the brightness to your clips basically. It's going to give you this cool looking night vision grunge effect. I think it looks absolutely amazing. That's just one of the effects from the pack. We could add my favorite, the super grunge effect. It's going to look something like this. Absolutely amazing. So cool. <laughs> yeah, grunge effect. Really, really love that uh, effect. I could add the dark pixel grunge, for example. And it's going to look something like this. And yeah, I'm just gonna let the effect speak for itself. And if you guys like these grunge effects, this grunge look here, uh, I'm going to give you guys a discount code for this pack. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you guys will save $5 on the grunge preset pack. Now, the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to save the x-ray effect. So you're just going to be marking all of your effects here. Go to animation, save animation preset. Here, x-ray effect then press save and uh, that's basically it now we can use it for another time i'm really really satisfied with this extra effect i think it looks very good and if you guys also think so don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com don't forget to check out my socials join my discord server and i'll see you guys soon take care and have a nice day